Puh, los mich. Nice. So today I am in a really unique and special place, uh, way out in the high desert of southeast Oregon, at a place called uh, Anna Reservoir. And this place is really interesting because it's got uh, a bunch of springs that feed into this little lake. So it's basically a little oasis out in this high desert. And these springs are 55 to 60 degrees warm. So they keep the lake open year round. At perfect trout, whew, trout temperatures. So this lake never ices over, despite being in a very cold, dry place. And uh, right adjacent to this lake is, whew, this thing feels like a beast. Uh, right adjacent to this lake is the high desert trout hatcheries, which is one of the highest performing, highest rated trout hatcheries in the United States, just because of the quality of the water. They raise really quality fish, super healthy, and they plant them in the lake. So, got my first fish of the day on. Dang, man, that's like not gaining on them. Who's a beast? They just fight so strong. Oh yeah, that's a big, beautiful rainbow. All right, cool. First one of the day. Really pretty rainbow. Look at those blue eyes, beautiful. Chartreuse and orange. Chartreuse and orange spinner. Very, very healthy looking fish. Let's get that one going. See if we can get a few more. I got that one on a skateboard, Silver Dodger from Paulina Peak, and there's Silver Chartreuse and Orange Spinner. <laughs> a little bite there, you see that? fish. <laughs> Whoa, this thing feels heavy. Dang, head thumping. Now one of the things that's interesting about this lake is it's got um, a native species of chub called Tui Chub. Last night at my camp, uh, just as the sunset, there was just thousands of fish in the surface. And they were small. I figured it was those chub, and so I pulled out my uh, fly rod and I started catching a bunch of them. They're all pretty small, but uh, the trout can feed on the the smaller chub, and that allows them to get large. But they've also planted some hybrid bass in here to help suppress the chub population, so it doesn't outcompete the trout for the insect resources in the lake. So they have these hybrid white striped bass in here called wipers. Um, I've caught them in the past here from shore. Had very little success from the boat. I tried last night, I didn't get anything. I figured this morning I'd give these big rainbows another chance. The spinner seems to be the hot lure this morning. Oh man, that's another big, big trout. That's the thing about all the trout here. They're all gonna be in that 15 to 20 inch class here for rainbows. another nice fish. Whew, that is a thick bodied trout. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Look at the size of that thing. Dang. That thing is huge. Whew, look at that rainbow. That is a chunkster. That thing is fat. Alright, let's get him going. So the spinners seems to be getting most of the love this morning. I've got a flutter spoon over here. Might switch it out in a sec here if I get another fish on the spinner. Oop, fish. Woo! Taking some line. 
spinners are getting most of the love this morning. Let's see what we got here. Something smashed and ran. Sometimes you can also use like little crankbaits here because those trout have keyed in on feeding on some of those smaller chub. Oh yeah, it's a big bow. Gave up all of his, whoa. Now he just realized he doesn't want to go in the boat. Really pretty bow. Tell how thick bodied they are. Part because there's just tons of bug resources in this lake because it stays thawed and productive year round because of the water temperatures. And also, I think they do feed a lot on those. Chub gives them a little extra bit of protein. Wow. Strong fish. Like a little steelhead. Look at that. Tough fish. All right, buddy. There you go. Let's get him going. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try changing out this other one to a little crankbait. Yesterday uh, evening I was trying for the hybrid bass throwing big rattle traps. I actually caught two pretty big rainbows on hard bait, so we'll give that a shot. Ooh, there's fish. Ooh, look at that rainbow. Hit that big rattle trap. That's crazy. All right, buddy. See you later. Ooh, there's fish. There's fish. <laughs> One right after another. It's funny how you go like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes without a bite, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Of course, one of the real advantages of this location is that it's very isolated. So it's, I've had the whole lake to myself, aside from one other bank angler since I've been here. And it's not a very big lake, uh, but it does have a boat ramp. So it's a really peaceful place. And there's these springs to feed a massive wetland system just to the south of here. And, um, you know, all night while I was in my tent, there are just thousands of snow geese and white fronted geese coming across on their northward migration. Whoa, this feels like a beast. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this guy's underneath it. Oh yeah, that's a big rainbow. How strong they are, man. It's crazy. Wow, it's a really pretty rainbow. Whoa! The thing is huge. That thing is thick. Look at the size of that thing. Such deep bodies on them. Really healthy looking. Nice. Yeah. What a nice fish. No copepods on him. Perfect conditions for healthy trout. All right, let's get one more and then I'm gonna head in for some breakfast. I'm just starting to see a lot more surface activity start to pick up. So I think there's like sort of that rush to feed in the early morning and then little bit of a lull and then as it starts to warm up again there's more bug activity they get more active there's definitely certain spots on the lake where they're they're concentrating i'm assuming that's where there might be more aquatic insect activity there's one right there nice Woo! not even gaining on them on the drag there at all Crazy. So I'm getting most of my bites in sort of eight to 10 foot of water and I'm probably only trolling about five feet deep. 
And that's the nice thing about this lake because of its relatively stable water temperatures. For most of the year, aside from like the hottest part of the summer, uh, most of these fish are going to be feeding near the surface. Be targeted from the boat or shore. Uh, I've seen a fish out here swimming around with a bob or dragging a bob around and um, I'm assuming it broke off from those folks fishing up lake from me. And so you can definitely catch them uh, just, you know, putting a worm or bait underneath a bobber or even fly from the bank. Woo! Boy, these fish fight hard. Whoa, he's taking some serious drag. Yeah, another decent fish. Cool. All right. All right, I'm going to make that my last fish of the morning. Get him going. See you later. Head in and have some breakfast. I'll put links to everything that I use today. If you guys have any questions about fishing here, just let me know in the comment section. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter. Not harder. Bye, guys.